X Kid City and in Route 45, friends. My name is Miss Kiki, and I'm so glad to be with you guys this morning. Today in our Bible story, we're going to be talking about the prodigal son again, but today we're going to be learning about the older brother and the father. So I hope you guys have time as a family to talk about that after our service. Well, right now, let's go ahead and share this video. Let's invite some more people to join us today, and let's also get some thumbs up so that I know you're here with us. All right, well, I want everyone to get on your feet and let's get ready for worship.
deciding that someone who has wronged you doesn't have to pay. Forgiveness can clean up some pretty bad messes, which is exactly what I've been doing around this place. So before we get this party started, I'm going to show you one last do-it-yourself hack involving my new kitchen table. My friend Chris volunteered to help me move it into the apartment, which was great of him until the incident. It was Chris's idea to turn the table sideways to get it in the door. I told him it wouldn't work, but he did it anyways and broke one of the legs. So guess what? I was right and he was wrong. Now look at my table. More level. Thanks a lot, Chris. Guess who's not getting invited to the party now? It's you, Chris. <sighs> Let's do this thing. Huh, that was pretty easy, actually. Let's check this out. Test one. Uh... Test two. Last but not least, test three. <laughs> oh man, don't, don't think that lets you off the hook, Chris. 
You're still missing out on my party! Today's story is about a guy who wasn't so sure he wanted to party. My party's going to be great, by the way. We're going to have music and games and snacks. And although Chris would usually be the one to bring the snacks, plus he plays the best games and picks really good music. Ugh! If Chris isn't invited, maybe I'll be the one who misses out. Okay, you need to be careful with that stuff, all right? I am being careful. See, look, I have gloves. Do you have gloves? Wear your gloves. I've got gloves. Okay, but you're not wearing the gloves. You say potato, I say whatever. Okay, uh, seriously though, the glue in your hand, it sticks to anything instantly. Oh, so I know, really... trust me. I, I, I will never forget the cat incident. Oh, I don't think the cat will either. Its fur will grow back eventually, okay? Okay. Now here, hold these. Okay, why? Because. Good answer. Now. Ha! <laughs> uh -huh. Why, why? See, look. Because their hair, it's so soft. Feel it. Oh, mm. Super right? soft, yeah. Oh, sorry. Here, let me get that. No, oh. I got it. Don't worry about it. All right. Wait, you're. Uh, <laughs> you know what? There's no problem. I'm just going to pull it off like this. Here we go. And one. You're. Uh, huh. Don't worry, not an issue. I got some, oh, I got some glue remover down here. I'm just gonna go okay. grab. Bread it, bread it, <laughs> a little help. Bread it! Yeah, yeah, just a second. Help! Where, where are you going? Bread it, bread it! Bread, where are you going? Can help me? Ooh, what is that? Can that get me out? What is, no, no, no. I'll help you after this. No. Smile. don't understand. How is it that complicated? Look, just because it's your way doesn't mean it has to be my way. But That's it's all not I'm saying. my way. It is. There's a right and a wrong way to do things, and clearly a you're right on the wrong, wrong side way. of the That's road, like mister. There's a right and a wrong way to tie your shoes. There is a right way and a wrong way to tie your if shoes. If your shoes are tied, it's the right way. Hey, guys, uh, we're rolling. Welcome, Welcome to, to the So-and-So so Show. I'm Brandon. And I'm Lawson. And, and we're, we're glad you decided, decided to watch today. today. We have an exciting show lined up, isn't that right, Lawson? That's right, Brandon, so exciting! You're not gonna let this go, are you? I don't have the slightest idea what you're talking about. Oh, really? Yeah. Fine! Fine! As we continue to talk about forgiveness this month, I wanted to- I want you to admit that you're wrong! See, I knew you weren't gonna let this go! You're being ridiculous! I'm being ridiculous? Why don't you let them decide who's being ridiculous? Oh, they're just gonna agree with me. We'll see about that! Huh. Breaking news, Brandon, current co-host of The So-and-So Show, has been identified as a non-toilet paper replacer. Hey! Though some of his fans will be shocked by this incendiary information, Brandon has been a longtime follower of the belief that placing a new roll on the sink is good enough. We can also exclusively reveal that on the rare occasion when he actually does replace the toilet paper, Brandon places the paper with the end going underneath. I understand that these accusations against the longtime host of the So and So Show will cause some to wonder if they truly knew Brandon at all. This has been a breaking news report. Thanks for watching. Now back to your normally scheduled program, already in progress. Really? You asked for it. Okay, you're right, Lawson. You're right. I am? Yeah, I should have replaced the toilet paper after it was used up. That's the courteous thing to do. Thank you. And you know what? I forgive you for being so uncourteous. Thank you. But what about that other thing? I will not apologize for how I install the toilet paper. There's not the there's no right or wrong way to hang the toilet paper. Au contraire, mon frere. There isn't. I, and I'll prove it to you. What do you Brandon, what's this? It's another way to hang toilet paper. Oh. It's also a game. Ooh. All right, so in our hands, we have a bunch of rubber bands. Yes. Right, and, and what we're gonna do is we're going to shoot the rubber bands at the toilet paper, trying to rip it at the seams. The first okay. one of us who can make two aluminum cans drop to the ground wins the game, all right? 
-hmm. and we got to do it blindfolded. Is that okay Ooh. with you? Yeah, actually, it sounds fun. All right, blindfolds on. Okay, ready? On the count of three. One, two, three. Anything? Ow! I heard something. It was me. Oh, that was a little far off. <laughs> it hits. It hits your finger on the on the point of exit. Do you not know how to shoot a rubber band? I skipped this part of my childhood. I went straight to division. Ow! I heard a can. Did it not fall? Woo! I need more rubber band. Is that? Is that? That's just one. That's just one. Oops. Sorry, cameraman. How am I not hitting anything? It's like you've never done this before. Booyah! What? How did I not hit anything? Woohoo! Well, that was actually fun. <laughs> it's Bible story time with Kellen. Hey guys. Hi Kellen. You seem to be in a good mood. I know, isn't it crazy? What story do you have for us today? Okay, so last time I told you the first part of Jesus' parable of the prodigal son. Remember this? Previously on My Two Sons. Father, I want my inheritance. Oh? How much of it? Wait, let me think. Oh, that's right. All of it. Better not be in that slop. That's high quality slop. Feed the pigs. My son was dead. But he is alive again. He was lost. But now he is found. You remember that? Sort of. It's mostly familiar. Great. Jesus told the story of a father who had two sons. The younger son left and wasted his share of his father's money. The older son stayed home. When the younger son returned home, the father forgave him. And that's where we pick up our story. I can't wait. Cool. Now here's part two of My Two Sons. As time moves on, so do the lives of my two sons. Where are you going with all that food? Your younger brother has come home. Your father is throwing a welcome home party in his honor. <laughs> He's what? As you can tell, the older brother was not thrilled. He refused to attend the party, so his father went to find him. Why are you not at the party? Hmm. Why am I not at the party? Why am I not at the party? Well, let me think. All these years, I've worked like a slave for you, and I have done this and I have done that, and you haven't so much as thrown me and my friends a tea party. You know, Dad, me and my friends, we like parties too. My son, you are always with me. But then my little brother leaves and he throws all your money away and he comes back and you give him a full-blown carnival. <laughs> my son. My son. My son. Everything I have is yours. But don't you see? We had to celebrate his return. 
<laughs> why, Dad? Why? Why? This why? brother of yours was dead, <laughs> but now he's alive. <laughs> he was lost, but now he's found. <laughs> why? Why? <laughs> That's the end? Yeah, that's the ending Jesus gave us. Did the older brother forgive his younger brother like his father did? We don't know. I think Jesus told the story that way because he wanted us to put ourselves in the older brother's shoes. Would you be willing to forgive someone even if they may not deserve it? When you forgive, you're like the father in the story and our father in heaven. When you don't, you could be like the older brother, and you could miss out on a great party. Uh, are, are you okay? I got left at a party once. My mommy didn't pick me up. It was so scary. <laughs> Soap operas just do this to him. No, it's not that. I just forgive you for not putting the toilet paper on. Uh oh. And I forgive. I forgive you for yelling at me for not putting the toilet paper on. Um, I'll just see you guys next time then. <laughs> bye, Kelly. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> I have no toilet paper. Look at it. Thank you. <laughs> Reveal the. <laughs> Reveal the question. Reveal the question. Do the thing. What do you lose if you don't forgive? You can lose so much. Friendships, joy. I would have missed out on your awesome toilet paper game, Brandon, so thank you. You are welcome. I'm, I'm glad you're starting to rethink the whole toilet paper has to go over the top thing. Uh, no, I, I still disagree with you on that one, but we can disagree and still be friends, right? Absolutely. And besides, I thought of an even better way to install toilet paper. Ooh, do tell. <laughs> wow! Uh -huh. Hey, we'll see you guys next week for a brand new show. Bye, we'll see guys. how this baby works. The room is spinning. Why did I do that? The older brother in Jesus' story totally missed out. Being right was way more important to him than repairing the relationships with his father and brother. The father, on the other hand, forgave his son and threw a big party! <laughs> Forgiveness is something we should celebrate. Think about it. In the beginning, God decorated for the biggest party ever when he made paradise for his people. But over time, people got further and further and further away from paradise. So. God sent Jesus. Because of what Jesus did for us, we can be forgiven. Jesus even said that when someone turns to God, there's great joy in heaven. <laughs> Maybe like a party. When you forgive someone in your heart, that's worth celebrating. I mean, forgiveness can save relationships. It can even make someone else feel like they matter. And forgiveness can take the weight off your shoulders too. <laughs> but when you hold grudges and you don't forgive, you can miss out on all that stuff. That's why the one thing to remember today is this. When you don't forgive, you miss out. So, of course, I'm going to forgive my friend Chris for breaking my table even though I was right and he was wrong. I don't want to miss out on our party. And I definitely don't want to miss out on our friendship. That's way more important to me than being right. Well, that's all for now. I've got to go get ready for a party. See you around.
It's time again for Retro Reel. Charlie, get in here. Now stand still, Charlie. I'm gonna ask you a few questions that I want you to tell me the truth. Okay. Is your name Charlie? Yes. Good answer, good answer. Do you have a mustache? Uh, no. You're right, that would be weird. Now, did you eat my last snickerdoodle that I had hidden in my sock drawer under my picture of Linda Ronstadt inside a locked safe? No. Charlie, are you telling the truth? Yes. You actually are telling the truth. See, it, it said so right here. Oh, good. I'm sorry for accusing you. It must have been mom. It's okay. I forgive you. You know, I am the best hammerer there is, Charlie. Ain't no one can hammer like me. Pow, pow, pow. That is some good hammer, pow, though. Pow, pow. You bet it is. Hey, isn't that your brother's dog? Yep. Her name is Winnie the Poodle. Wally said I could play with her as long as I didn't let her out of my sight. Come on. Let's finish that treehouse. Hurry up. Last one up the tree is a swamp rat. Oh, hey, don't push me. Uh, sorry. It's okay. I forgive you. Kind of hard to do this with uh, only one hand. It'll be worth it, though. Nothing like a do-it-yourself treehouse. Especially when I'm building it. You sure like to brag, Bo, but I forgive you. Thanks, Charlie. Whistle while you work. <laughs> See? I'm even good at whistling. Oh, no. Did you leave the gate open, Bo? My brother's going to be so mad. Come on, help me catch her. Uh, I think I hear my mom calling. Uh, yeah, yeah, there she is. I gotta go. I forgive you, Bo. Wally, Winnie the Poodle got out. I lost her. What? Oh, no. I told you to keep an eye on her. What's that number? I always forget it. 9-1-9-1-3, what's your emergency? Horse on fire? Someone running around in a leprechaun costume? Uh, no. My brother lost Winnie the Poodle. Can you help me find her? That's what we do. Well, not really. I'm just bored. Come on down to the station. I'm really sorry I lost Winnie, Wally. I know, you should be. You're lucky we picked her up. We found her inside the 10-acre wood. I really am sorry, Wally. I didn't mean to lose her. I know, Charlie. I forgive you. I have something else to tell you, too. Oh, I like confessions. I did eat your last snickerdoodle and fool your lie detector. I'm sorry. If he ate my snickerdoodle, I'd throw him in the slammer. <laughs> Just what your love has done for me 